Good morning, Mountain View. Welcome back to Thunder News. I'm Kevin G. And I am not Ben Stanky. Seniors, all your books are due in the library May 23rd. If they're late, you won't graduate. Uh, everyone else is June 6th. Make sure to get your yearbooks now before they sell out. They are $55 with ASB, $60 without. The Mountain View Choir is hosting Evening in May on May 21st at 7 p.m. Make sure to check it out. Unconditional, unconditionally, I will love you unconditionally. There is no fear. And also, if you guys didn't get to see Guys and Dolls, here's what you missed. And here's Mr. Ray with an announcement about the upcoming art show. Mountain View staff and students, this is Richard Ray, I'm the photography instructor on campus. I would like to take this opportunity to invite you all to attend the opening of the 2014 District Art Show. It will be held at the Cascade Park Library on 136th Avenue. Opening night is this Monday, the 19th. The show stays in the library through the 30th. Congratulations to Isaac Strever, who placed first place in the Ceramics Showcase at the Convention Center in Portland this weekend. His piece was titled Double Scraffito. Every Thursday after school from 2.25 to 3.15, come play ping pong in the mini gym. It's a blast. This is Thunder Sports. Sports. We got a baseball game at Vibe Districts tomorrow at 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. Soccer at Vibe Districts tomorrow at 12 p.m. We got a softball district champion today at Kelso High School at 4 p.m. We'll see you next week on Thunder, Thunder Sports. Sports. So we're here with uh, Paul Onifre, uh, a finalist in the International Silent Film Festival. So Paul, when is your showing? Uh, my show is on Monday at 7 p.m. at the Hollywood Theater in Portland, Oregon. Okay. So what are you most proud of about your film? Uh, that a legitimate Hollywood producer got to view it. And who was that? I had no idea. It was a big old guy. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Uh, we're going to go to a promo now. Uh, Oh wow, that was great. Thank All you. right, hey Zach. Hi. Another finalist here. Mm -hmm. So, when is your showing? Mine is Wednesday, May twenty-first. May Seven p.m. Seven p.m. Mm -hmm. So, what were what were you most proud of about your film? Uh, uh I would say the acting. Uh, definitely because it had Stacy Hogan. She goes to school here, and mm -hmm. she's a wonderful actress. And I uh, really, uh, she was very easy to work with, and you know, she's very good at acting. Go to a promo now. Uh, So 
what, what were your motivations for these films, guys? Uh, go ahead, Zach. Filmmaking. Filmmaking. How about you, Paul? Money. Money. Uh, that's another motivation. That's another motivation for Zach, too. Yeah. All right, well, that's it for us uh, here at Mountain View High School. Paul, Zach, thank you very much. See you next week. Did you know? If you think having a big brain makes you smart, you're wrong. Sorry about it. In the last 30,000 years, the brain has shrunk from 1,500 cubic centimeters to 1,350 cubic centimeters. To get an approximate size of how big that chunk is that we lost, it's actually as big as a tennis ball. The Great Wall of China cannot be seen from space, but their air pollution can. 70% of the world's population of animals could go extinct in the next 300 years. Hide your cats and hide your dogs because they be killing everybody up in here. Cat urine glows under black lights and I'm not sure why you need to know that but it's kind of cool. The human brain takes in 11 million bits of information every second but can only be aware of 40 bits of it. Well, that does it for Sean Bryce's Science Facts of the Week. Stay tuned next week for more science and more knowledge. And always remember, Mountain View, think like a proton and stay positive. Thanks for watching. I'm still not Ben Stanky. And I'm Kevin Jean.